and um, how long on average would it take um, for this process to go through? And say, for example, in the first month, you, um, they, they haven't paid, um, so you decide to go to court. How long would the, you know, from start to finish, how long would the process take? Well, from start to finish, uh, basically, it, since we have a federal uh, system, it all depends on the city you, you are uh, establishing. If the minor courts in your city, if it's a small city, the minor courts can, can have the first hearing in, say, three months or less than that. On a bigger city, and Rio, you are, I, I doubt they'll have the first hearings before six months. Really? Yes, yeah, so that's, that's the big uh, problem. You can ask for a, a preliminary order uh, to take him out, but you, you have to have considerable evidence that uh, he's been uh, damaging your property or doing something serious other than not paying the rental. Essentially what you're saying is um, it's, it's really easier to just just go for an out-of-court settlement really rather than go through the, uh, the, the hassles of, of having to deal with all these, uh, you know, the, the waiting time and all that period you, you're waiting for, um, you know, the court documents to come through. You might as well try and come to some kind of agreement and cut your losses. Um, exactly. Really. Right. Exactly. And um, you just mentioned uh, with regards to, to property damage um, and missed rental payments. What about compensation with regards to that? You know, if worst case scenario and the, and the property was damaged, how would the uh, investor go about recouping any losses? Would that be a case um, that you would work alongside the, the court case, or would that be something that you would um, you do you do separately? Oh no 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 no! Uh, you you can do it all in in a single uh, claim. Right. Uh, how well we haven't talked about it a lot, but uh, the guarantees on the rental, uh, one of them is a, a three months uh, deposit, right? Right. And uh, this three months deposit, all contracts stipulate, and uh, you can you you it's it's fairly reasonable to do that. You withhold until you get the the property back. Right. In a sense that. Uh, when when uh, when you receive the property back, we we would normally give like a um termo de vistoria. It's like a uh, no okay K term, uh, like just a, a clearance that everything is is sorted and that he has returned the property in the same conditions he has received them it mm -hmm. before. So if there is some flaws, some problems, some damage, you can uh, take it from the deposit. Offset it, right? Okay. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Okay, that's good. Is it an expensive procedure for um, for, for the eviction? No, not really. If we're talking about a lower sum of money, you can do it yourself on a, on a on a minor court. Right. You don't even need a lawyer for that. Right, right, right. So it's just so, a case of going in and paying a a negligible fee, and um, uh, no, no, no. It's 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 for minor courts. It's actually it's actually free. Oh right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if if you go to 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 the regular courts, then you pay depending on the state. You pay a percentage of what you're claiming from the tenant. Right. But that's I mean, that's not that much as well. Right. Just and if you, you do, have to pay up front. And if you do go to a, to a higher court, um, would the process of eviction like to be quicker or? No, 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 no. The minor courts are quicker. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the, the reason for the minor courts is because they're they're so sim they're simple matters. Right. And uh, some some of the times uh, there's a conciliador, which is uh, not even a judge, it's uh, like a conciliator, like a, a law law graduate or a lawyer, which will sort out because it's it's there's no. Uh, there's, it's relatively simple. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, have you paid? No. Have you paid? Yes. Here's the, here are the receipts. <laughs> right. So that's uh, that's it. Where's the contract? Let's read the contract. What's what's on the contract? And it's quite straightforward. All rolling. Yeah. Sure. Um. You know, we were talking quite the last kind of ten minutes of the conversation has been quite negative, and obviously, um, <laughs> most people, yeah, most people would uh, want to avoid these kind of things from happening from the from the onset of of, of signing an agreement. What kind of measures can be taken to, to really minimize risks? And the first thing I'd like to focus on is using Sarasa, which, uh, which are a company based out in Brazil that are directly related to um, Experian, 
Um, so a lot of listeners would know about Experian because they operate in the UK and the US. Uh, you know, can any kind of checks, credit checks, vetting checks, um, uh, vetting measures, can any of that kind of be done by an investor or would it all be done through the managing agent? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can do it, but the managing agent uh, as well, part of the fees are for the checks. They're not going to, you can, uh, you can, uh, I don't know if it's, uh, if it's like this here in the UK and the US, but you can just uh, uh, not uh, rent your property out should you think someone is not going to pay in the near future. So you can ask for, uh, you can ask the, the, ten, the future tenant to provide some means of payment, mm -hmm. some some, for example, uh, a pay slip that that's uh, that he's got to, to prove that he's got sufficient income to to pay what he's proposing yeah. to rent. That's real, quite straightforward. All the checks are are in place, and uh, we haven't used Seraza that much. But Seraza is also interesting because if somebody has uh, uh, problems with the banks. And uh, with financing, by all means, they will have problems with their rentals. Yeah. So there is Seraza, there is SPC, which is the, the consumer's uh, credit control. Right. Uh, and, uh, and nevertheless, you can ask the tenant to provide you with sufficient uh, evidence that he, he'll be able to, to, he, not only he, and the gar guarantor as well, both of them, will be able to, to to provide means for to pay the rent okay um, okay well that's uh, that's quite good news and I think a lot of investors would be uh, well advised to, to follow that procedure oh no um, and if they if the investor chooses a property management company one of the one of the first things the uh, a property management company does is to do the, the credit controls Sure. And say, look, we 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 think this person will will pay the rent, or, or we have uh, some doubts, and uh, we shouldn't rent it out to them. Sure, sure. And um, going back to your, to your last point with regards to guarantors, uh, should this be something that every foreign investor should do? And what checks need to be done? And is is it, is it a separate contractual agreement, or is it all together with the existing tenancy agreement that you're um, you'll be signing? It's it's all together with the existing uh, tenancy agreement, and he's the he, you can ask. Nevertheless, if I rent, uh, for example, a flat to Ruben, and uh, your guarantor, I think you you don't have cash to pay the, the rent. I can ask the guarantor first, in, instead of asking Ruben. I'm not going to waste my time on a claim, right. uh, to the to the, the actual debtor, and the guarantor can't say. Oh, you should have asked Ruben first. That's very good. Right. So both people are on the same on the same uh, lot. Uh, I'll just uh, open a, a parenthesis because uh, the guarantor is not always in place because we can only choose one of the four possibilities of uh, rental rental guarantees. I see. One is uh, the deposit I've mentioned before. The other one is a fianza or a guarantor, as we, we say, fiador. Uh -huh. The third one is something we don't use in Brazil, but we're going to start to use it because it's very interesting whenever the banks get their heads out of it, is a, a guarantee insurance from a bank. On the, um, the rental income, and that would be... Exactly. Uh... Yeah, there's uh, there's there's policies a lot of lot of that in um, the UK and the US and they're for the landlord protection policies and the landlord would pay a, a set amount every month um, to have that in place. Um, Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, we have we have that uh, legal disposition. We can do that for quite a, a long time now, and nobody does it because the banks haven't got their heads into into this market. But right. we definitely it's definitely a market to be explored in the future. Mm-hmm.